Do you see it? Right up here. How many of you guys actually know the difference between Western skincare and Korean skincare and how they tackle breakouts? Because if you haven't noticed, they're quite different. So I'm gonna walk you through the entire Korean process and this video is in collaboration with one of our favorite brands, iUnic. They're really affordable and effective K-beauty skincare. How I like to think about it is Korean skincare is all about prevention, while Western skincare is all about problem solving. With a lot of Western brands, you'll see ingredients like AHAs, BHAs, benzyl peroxide, vitamin C, and all of these are really effective and powerful ingredients to really target that skin concern, which also means it could be a little irritating for those of you, especially with sensitive skin. While Korean skincare really focuses on hydration and healing the skin barrier, and so you'll see a lot of ingredients like green tea, mugwort, centella asiatica, propolis, even when we're trying to treat our acne. And because it is so gentle, you might see that it takes a little bit longer to do its work, but it definitely won't be drying. So are you team quick fix or slow and steady? Leave it in the comments. So how about we change into something a little bit more comfortable, shall we? I love these little arm water protector things. Let's clip up our hair. Close the door for some privacy. So starting off with a double cleanse. It is not a Korean skincare routine without this, my friends. Especially for you guys with oily, acne prone skin, and especially dry skin. Oil attracts oil, and essentially what we have from skincare to makeup are oil-based ingredients. So what we want to do is just massage this onto dry skin. If you were to just go in with a normal cleanser straight away, it probably won't be able to get rid of all of it on your skin. This one I'm using is the Calendula Complete Cleansing Oil. I've used it for years. I've gone through bottles of it. And as you can see, I can still open my eyes when I use it, which is a huge testament. Guys, I also have a hack for you. You can use cleansing oil as your in-shower shaving cream. It leaves your skin moisturized, so when you're done with the shower, you basically don't need to moisturize. Honestly, a life-changing hack. It's time to emulsify it with some water. So you wanna just work that in for another, like, 15 seconds. And then... So soft. Now you want to move on to your water-based cleanser, which will just further get away everything that's left on the face, as well as that kind of nourishing, oily film. So this is the Centella Mild Cleansing Foam. More than half of the ingredients is actually Centella, which means it's calming your skin, it's reducing the redness and like, inflamed areas. A lot of acne cleansers contain 2% BHA, which for some people with sensitive skin can be slightly irritating or drying, but this has 0.2%, so it's just enough. Okay, so I love just massaging it, especially around the nose because I'll get blackheads. Around the T-zone is where I get the most oily during the day, so I really wanna make sure that it's being thoroughly cleansed. Don't forget the neck and around the hairline. A tip for the water, only use lukewarm water. Don't go for hot because that tends to be really drying on the skin. I pat it like maybe once or twice because I still want my face to be somewhat Damn. Now moving on to skin prep. I think Koreans really changed the game when it came to toners. Honestly, a lot of people say that toners aren't an essential. I cannot live without a toner. So I want to share with you guys two ways that I love using toners. Obviously, one, you can just put it on your skin like this. I actually learned this tip from my sister, just like using the bottle straight onto my face because she's like, oh my God, you're wasting so much by like putting it on your head. So anyway, I've like adopted that. Or what you can do is find some really soft cotton pads. And because the formulas of these toners are so soothing and hydrating, just make your own mask. This is the Tea Tree Relief 
toner. So it's got about 60% of tea tree, which is a really great antimicrobial, antibacterial, especially for those of you with irritated skin and acne prone breakout skin. So I like literally doused the whole pad. Honestly, I feel like that's why they make the bottles so big. DIY face mask. Gotta leave some nose hole so I can breathe and not perish. So I'm gonna leave this on for about like, what do we think? Five minutes? So yes, we look a little crazy, but all in the name of beauty. Boop, 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 boop. are uh, not like a necessity for me. You know how we were talking about in Western skincare, it's all about potent active ingredients. For Korean skincare, it's really just about calming it down because if you calm down the inflammation and just hydrating it, then the inflamed area isn't going to persist. It's not going to grow. So this is the Tea Tree Relief Serum, one that I've used for years. And it's honestly just so gentle that there's no such thing as like too much Centella Asiatica. You know what I mean? And it's just this like perfectly goopy but lightweight. Nice. Oop. <laughs> Now moving on to one of my like holy grail gel creams. This one was my favorite gel cream for the longest time. You don't want a moisturizer that feels heavy and that it's like clogging all your pores and it feels like your skin's suffocated. Look at that. Look at that, guys. There's 72% of Centella leaf water. If you apply a moisturizer and you find that your skin feels tight after about like, you know, 30 seconds to 60 seconds, I would say that specific formulation is probably too lightweight and you can either just do another layer of moisturizer or you can find something that's a little richer and thicker. I personally like working it into my ears because I have like a little bit of eczema and then of course a down the neck and if you're using this during the day it sits really well under makeup like it's not too thick after moisturizer if this was the daytime we would go into a sun cream which I'll show you guys the consistency is beautiful it's a chemical sunscreen it works beautifully for sensitive skin so look at that invisible it gives you the, just the right amount of glow it's not sticky it's very lightweight I know you guys are going to love this one but because this is a nighttime here is where it gets really fun because this guy is like a cross between the best of both worlds so these are actually all just scars that I have to deal with and this is an active one this is the new Centella calming AC spot cream and unlike you know those old-fashioned like drying gels this is the most lightweight spot treatment just gonna put around this area as you can see I am fully breaking out it's got lactic acid salicylic acid as well as gluconolactone which is PHA all of which are just going to gently help to exfoliate this area of my skin because when we break out it's essentially when the skin is getting clogged with dead skin extra sebum production, bacteria, like oil, dirt, all of that stuff. It's there to help us, not to be against us. <laughs> and the really exciting thing is, we're doing a giveaway on Instagram where five of you guys will win this as well as this really cute tote bag. Just so you guys can experience that and, you know, be empowered to deal with breakouts in the most gentle, mindful, and purposeful way. We're all just here trying to figure it out, right? That is life. Make sure you've subscribed and welcome to the Beauty Rhythm fam if you're new here. And I wish you guys all the best. Good night. Bye, babe.